you've never played saxophone before or you're just getting started, we're going to get you jamming in this lesson. We're going to take you from zero to hero. We're going to have some fun and get you playing some improvising that's actually pretty cool and the first steps to actually making some great authentic sounding solos on your saxophone. Now there's a link below in the description where you can download the backing track and the worksheet that we're going to use in this lesson. Also, hey, if you're new here, make sure you click subscribe and click that bell icon so you get notified of new lessons. Right, you ready to have some fun? Let's get started. G'day, it's Nigel here from Sax School. Now when you're just starting out on saxophone, there's nothing more frustrating than having to learn loads of really boring stuff before you get to the fun stuff. Because you wanted to learn saxophone to play the fun stuff, right? I get it. And you know, with the thousands of members who are learning with me inside Sax School, people who are learning just like you, that's something that we really focus on. We focus on playing fun tunes and getting started playing the important, the fun stuff sort of right out the gate rather than wasting a lot of time on the boring stuff. So that's really what we're going to do today. Now, if you're brand new to saxophone, then stick around because uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you five notes on the tenor sax and on my alto saxophone that, you can, that you'll need in this session. There's only five notes that you're gonna need. If you already are comfortable with those notes, then jump ahead to this time where we start actually putting it into practice and having a jam session and learning about how we can use the jam as well. So let's look at the notes on the tenor sax. Now, I'm gonna go through this in the really easy steps, even if you've never picked up a saxophone before, okay? So we start off with our thumb on the back. We've got our first finger on this key, not the one at the top, which might look like this, or it might be round. So you wanna have this first finger on the first round key, and then skip the next little round one, second finger on the second round key, and the third finger on the third round key. And then down here, we've got a thumb under the hook, and we've got one, two, three. Three fingers on three round pearls, okay? So that's our first note. On the tenor, it's called D. If you lift up the bottom two and just keep the first finger down, that's the note F. So we've got D and F. Sound like this. Now, one other thing that's happening here is I'm actually starting every note with a tongue. So I've got my tongue on the reed. I start blowing and then I take my tongue off, okay? So D, F. We're going to use the note G, which is just our uh, left hand, three fingers. We're going to use the note A, which is just two fingers. And then we're going to use the note C, which is just our middle finger on the left hand. So quick recap, D, F, G, A, and C. Now on the alto sax, you put your hands in the same place. We've still got our thumb on the back button, and we've got our fingers lined up with the round keys on the front here. And the notes that we're gonna use, we're gonna start with an A. So that's thumb on the back, and then two fingers for A. Sounds like this. And then the note C, which is just our middle finger, just like we did on tenor. And then we're gonna jump up to D. Now for D, we're gonna stick all three fingers with our left hand, three fingers with our right hand, but on the back here, we're also gonna stick on our octave key. If you can see that there, the octave key, okay? So our octave key goes on with our thumb. Really easy, just the tip of your thumb moving across and pushing down that, that key, okay? So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, and our octave key, that's for D. Lift off our bottom finger for E. And then just use three fingers with the octave key for high G. So just to recap then, the notes are A, C, D, E, and G. Okay, cool, so those are the only notes that we need to get started. Now, you may have already learned some other notes, and that's brilliant if you have. Uh, but if you are just brand new to saxophone, then let's just stick to those notes. Now, just a quick reminder here, it's super important that you start every single note with your tongue. So you always have your tongue on the reed, and then you release your tongue to let the notes start. Every single note you play on saxophone should start with your tongue. And of course, you've got to make a nice, good, solid uh, seal around the mouthpiece with your embouchure or your lips as well, okay? So in a second, we're gonna do our first jam session together. I can't wait, it's gonna be loads of fun. 
But before we do that, let me know in a comment, what sort of saxophone playing do you most want to do? What was the reason that you started learning saxophone? Was it to play jazz? Was it pop? Gospel? Classical? DJ sax? What sort of thing is it? Let me know in a comment. I'd love to know because I want to know more about the sort of lessons that you would like to see. So let's talk about how the jam session is going to work. Now, I'm going to pop on the backing track and we are going to have a jam together, you and me. Here's the rules. We're only going to use those five notes that we've learned for the alto or the tenor. I'm going to use my alto, but you could use your alto or your tenor and the music is going to be at the bottom of the screen, okay? Now, if you don't read the music, that's fine. I've written the lesson names on there as well. So the rules are basically you've got to stick to the notes that I've got written out for you, the five notes that we've learned. I want you to start every single note with your tongue, ta, ta, ta. And I want you to keep your rhythm super simple, really, really clear and simple. We're not trying to create an amazing award-winning solo here. All we're trying to do is prove the concept of having a jam and having some fun. So listen to what I'm playing to get some ideas. I'm going to start really simple, just using the first and second, maybe the first, second and third notes and mix it up a little bit. See if you can listen to what I'm doing and copy it in your four bars. So I'm gonna play for four, uh, for two bars, uh, and then you get to play for two bars. It's back to me, and it's back to you, and we're gonna go around and around all the way, okay? So stick to the five notes. Think about using your tongue on every to start every single note. Keep your rhythms and your melodies super simple. Listen to what I'm doing for some inspiration. Sound like fun? Okay, let's have a go. So how'd you get on with that? It's pretty cool, this exercise, because every single time you do it, you're going to learn new things about what works and what doesn't work in your playing. So it's super important that you try all sorts of things. Try different rhythms. Try using those notes in different ranges on your saxophone. So as you learn more about the other notes on the saxophone, you'll discover there's a whole 
range of notes. There's like two, three octaves of notes that you can use. So those low notes you can also use up high. In fact, to tell you what, I'm going to pop on the backing track again and just to have, a, have a quick jam through. And I'm going to use the same notes and I'm going to try and use simple rhythms. But I'm also going to extend into more complicated ideas and also into other ranges of the saxophone. Have a listen. amazing what you can do with just five notes isn't it and you'll be able to do that really soon too if you keep practicing through this exercise so make sure that you grab the worksheet and the backing track and keep working through this over and over and trying different things let me know in a comment how you get on with it and what you enjoy about this sort of exercise also of course don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you'll find out about other lessons like this. And if you're ready to move on to the next step, then check out my next video where I'm showing you a great improvising tactic, a th something that you can really use to improve your improvising just with a really simple little exercise. Keep practicing hard. I'll catch you next time.